Welcome back to The Real Deal, and here's what you need to budget for when buying a home. When it comes to buying a home, it can feel a bit intimidating to know how much you need to save and where to find that information. But you should know you're not expected to have all the answers yourself. There are many trusted professionals who can help you understand your finances and what you'll need to budget for throughout the process. To get started, here are a few things experts say you should plan for along the way. Number one, down payments. As you set your savings goal for your purchase, your down payment is likely already top of mind. And like many other people, you may believe you need to set aside 20% of the home's purchase price for that down payment. But that's not always the case. The National Association of Realtors says, quote, one of the biggest misconceptions among housing consumers is what the typical down payment is and what amount is needed to enter home ownership. Having this knowledge is critical to know what to save. The good news is you may be able to put as little down as three and a half percent. To understand your options, partner with a trusted professional who can go over the various loan types, down payment assistance programs, and what each one requires. Two, earnest money deposits. Another item you may want to plan for is an earnest money deposit. While it isn't required, it's common in today's highly competitive market because it can help your offer stand out in a bidding war. So what is it? It's money you put as a show of good faith when you make an offer on a house. This deposit works like credit. You're using some of the money you already saved for your purchase to show the seller you're committed and serious about their house. It's not an added expense. It's just paying for some of that upfront. First American explains what it is and how it works. Quote, the deposit made from the buyer to the seller when submitting an offer, this deposit is typically held in trust by a third party and is intended to show the seller you are serious about purchasing the home. Upon closing, the money will generally be applied to the down payment or closing costs. In other words, the earnest money deposit could be the very first check you'll write towards your purchase. The amount varies by state and situation. Realtor.com elaborates, quote, the amount you'll deposit as earnest money will depend on factors such as policies and limitations in your state, the current market, what your real estate agent recommends, and what the seller requires. On average, however, you can expect to hand over one to 2% of the total purchase price. In Sarasota, I have seen between five and 10% depending on the price point. Work with your real estate advisor to understand any requirements in your local area and what they're recommending for other buyers in your market. They'll help you determine if it's something that could be a useful option for you. Number three, closing costs. The next thing to plan for is your closing costs. The Federal Trade Commission defines closing costs as quote, the upfront fees charged in connection with a mortgage loan transaction, generally including, but not limited to a loan origination fee, title examination and insurance survey, attorney's fees and prepaid items such as escrow deposits for taxes and insurance. Basically, your closing costs cover the fees for various people and services involved in your transaction. NAR has this to say about how much to budget for. Quote, a home costs more than just the sale price. For example, closing costs, which make up about two to 5% of the home's purchase price are a major added expense. Lenders provide a closing disclosure at least three days prior to closing on a mortgage, but buyers will need to budget for these added costs ahead of time to avoid sticker shock before closing. The key takeaway is savvy buyers plan ahead for these expenses so they can come into the process prepared. Freddie Mac sums it up like this, quote, if you're in the market to buy a home, your down payment is probably top of mind and rightly so. It's likely to be the biggest cost of home buying. However, it is not the only cost and it's critical to understand all of your expenses before diving in. The more prepared you are for your down payment, closing, and other costs, the smoother your home buying journey will be. Here's the bottom line, ladies and gents. Knowing what to budget for in the home buying process is essential. 
to make sure you understand these and any other expenses that may come up. Let's connect today, send me a message and we can go over it. I'd love to help you out on what to expect when buying a home. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It'll mean the world to me and helps me know what content I need to add, change, or keep up with. We'll see you next week.